Hey guys, my name is Kenji Lo and welcome back to Kenji's Garage. Today's video, I'm going to be putting um, all these goodies behind me into my truck. We have the uh, rear covers for the lights, slimline fenders, um, skid plate, um, the wind deflector for the windows, some glue, some two kits, tools, general tools, um, masking tape definitely and you need to have a little bit of glue. Alright guys, first thing, let's start with the wheel arches because they take the longest to do actually um, and it's pretty simple. Um, basically, let me show you. You'll need to um, utilize all these original holes and screws. So you need to take all of these out and all of this out as well um, and this so that your fender can technically slide in. Um, use a double-sided tape as well. We're we'll doing some of that devil glue on the edges of the thing. Okay, so the top one is actually a torque screw. Um, a T30 torque, so yeah, I have a T30 torque ready. All right guys, the math laps are out now. So this is the, the mud flap that I took off. Um, and we're gonna now try and see if we can kind of line it up first and see if it, how it looks. So this one basically, you'll see it lines up like that. bottom edge on the bottom of those places you kind of need to put a little secret flicks on it just to keep it intact the rest is actually all bolted on with the original bolts so what we're gonna do now is clean everything up prep the um, the stuff so you'll see me doing the tearing off of the, the double sided tape and also um, putting on some of the glue on the sides of the skirts so yeah, if you have any questions, please comment below. Um, I can't, I might not be able to get everything in, in the video, but if you do have questions that you want to ask that I can show you here, more than welcome. I've got a little bit on here. Let's see that, there we go, I can see there. Squish this out. Okay, so that's just half. We'll do this one quickly. Same procedure as this one. We're going to be prepping the area. Okay, well, it's prepped already. Um, we're going to be putting some secret flex on, um, double sided tape, putting it on, bolt it on, and finishing it off. Simple as that. Alright guys, completed all four. Other side. And this side. Doesn't look too bad. Just remember, if you do put arches on, don't wash your car for at least 24 to 48 hours. Uh, this is for the 3M tape to settle. Pressing it in. Yeah. Okay, cool. We're gonna put the wind deflector on. Um, very simple. It's got double sided tape. And then also, there's a groove here. I don't know if you can see the groove. Now, this, you have to match it up with the groove over here. So, simple. Wipe clean and apply on. <laughs> Alright 
Okay, done. Okay guys, the next thing I'm gonna do is actually these scuff plates. Um, they're so simple, um, but you, I would recommend you add a little bit of uh, Sika Flix on it, um, in the middle, like so. Last thing to do is the light cover. Very simple. Peel off the top, peel off the bottom part of the sticker, leave the middle. This is in case you, you know, match it from the middle section here, this part. This part needs to be pressed in. Then you know that it's actually straight. Perfect. We are done with the installation. Um, I think it went pretty well. It took about two hours. <laughs> um, yeah, otherwise I think uh, it came out pretty good. Check this out. questions of anything uh, if you're unsure of how I did this or whatever it's actually very simple but if you do have any questions leave a comment below I'll reply immediately or when I can um, thank you for watching please subscribe like the video see you next time cheers